Oh, this is my son, Luke Matson. This is my dad, Mark the Madman Matson. And we're here at the littlest limestone company in the world. In 1969, my dad, half little, started digging holes on the farm fields of John Milner to see if we could find limestone. We found it, and we haven't stopped digging since. We've been here breaking rocks in the hot sun, and now all of a sudden we got this big CCI pretty much trying to take over. They're a billion dollar corporation. They could just put us out of business. My grandpa started this business, uh, and my dad helped it flourish. Now that I'm here trying to uh, do the job that they did, and if I can do it half as good as them, I'll be, be dang happy. My dad likes to hang out with a couple different guys. Mr. Big, Ron Bigelow, he's a very good customer of ours. Pretty wild, pretty crazy guy. Dieter Strump, the snowman, he's a special effects guy. They just love to get together and put together these wild ideas. Sometimes they're not the most practical things in the world. My job is uh, just to keep everybody focused. Mr. Lolo! Hey, Mr. Big! Making breakfast. One day I didn't pay my bill here in this quarry, and Mr. Little called my house where I lived at the time with my parents at two in the morning woke my mom up and demanded his money, and ever since then, I paid him, and we've been friends. Let's get that thing fired up, otherwise our eggs are gonna be frozen. Yeah. Mark and I got together several years ago when the Packers were playing, and we actually met in a bar. After uh, watching a football game, uh, we ended up going in a convertible from Lambeau Field all the way to Dallas. That's froze already. <laughs> that egg is froze already. Took like three seconds. It's a beautiful day in the quarry. Yeah, it is. It ain't bad out here, actually. No. Well, the quarry is, this is like Mark Matson world down here. This is where we could come down, relax, have a little bit of fun, blow some things up. That's what it's about down here. That's right. This is the redneck pirate boat. We take our grappling hook. We'll get your head out there too close. Oh, gee, I see what you mean by get your head out there. And we grapple it onto the other guy's boat. Then we reel their boat in to our boat. When do I ring my bell? When we get the women. Does that mean we scored? I think that means yeah. we scored. Yeah. Woo! Are you guys getting cold? Oh. Yeah. Come yeah. on, I'm freezing. <laughs> I'm lighting the fire. No, the fire. fire. Oh, that's the fire. That ain't bad. There you go. Ah. You want me to throw some more gas on it? Do something. You guys ready? No. <laughs> I feel warm now. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Mark is definitely one of the most interesting people on the planet. You never know what's going to happen. Usually it's something very creative. Many times it's outrageous. There's never any quiet times around Mark whatsoever. Here comes a loop. <laughs> if he sounds like that truck, you're in big trouble. <laughs> Man, that's loud. Oh, here comes the boss. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh You guys are still having breakfast, eh? We're trying. <laughs> well, we were until you showed up. Yeah. Glad you guys are having fun down here, but the longs just called. You know, they got an order in now for about 5,000 ton of lime that, you know, that we don't have because it's all froze. Yeah. It'd be nice if you come to work and kind of help me out here a little bit. Well, it's a little cold, don't you think? I got to make some money so I can pay my bills just like everybody else. When I go down and see Dad on the boat screwing around with his buddies, it's frustrating to me because, you know, we are trying to run a business here. Well, let's go. Hey, see you, Mr. Little. See ya. Yeah, Mr. Bye, Little. we'll take Bye. care of everything. Nothing to worry about. Woo! We won't burn the place down. I feel more like I'm the 60-year-old, and sometimes he's my kid. I'm like, come on, Dad. <sighs> you know, I hate to be a rag, yeah. but we kind of got to get going. We want to keep our customers happy and need, need to do this job. It's almost too cold to be trying to crush. If it's warm enough out to cook brats, I think it's warm yeah. enough out to try and do some work. One of the reasons I think it's a bigger deal to me, at least at this stage in life, he's worked hard already, you know, and he's on the back end of, of his work and career, whereas I, you know, I'm just getting going. But I'm going to give DeLong's a call and see what's going on in that end. Yeah, Tim. Yeah, we can fill that order for that lime. We ain't got it out yet, but I guarantee you, uh, you won't have to go down to CCI to get it. Okay, well, I just want to let you know. Thank you, bye. Luke's got this desire to get it done. It's froze, it's cold, it's impractical to do this. But they're one of our best customers, so we want them to be happy. 
One of the reasons it's very important to me to fill every order is we are the little guy. It's not just our name on the sign, but I think that's what really sets us apart. Not everybody's gonna go out on a Friday afternoon when it's six degrees below zero. It doesn't matter to them if they miss a small order here or there. I'm gonna try to hit it here on the south side. Hopefully, it'll be a little bit easier getting through when I have to spin the tires or nothing. And, uh, we'll go back up to the offs and come up uh, with a different battle plan. Yeah, all right, yeah, this isn't working for a shit. Luke's going, I want to get the job done, Dad. And the stuff was just frozen solid as a rock. There's really nothing that I actually let beat me because I make up my own rules in life. I got to admit, sometimes I, I think my dad's nuts and, and I don't have any clue what he's thinking or what he's trying to do, but he's a problem solver. If you have a problem, you want to throw him in a room with a thimble and a string and a sewing needle and come out with a bomb, uh, he's your guy. We have to make do with what we've got here, right? Yeah. This accumulator that you found, that's going to be our pressure vessel, and then inside here, we'll put yeah. some uh, fuel. And I'll put some jet fuel in it. It's got a more, little more heat in it. Yeah. And then uh, if we get the, once we get the bucket through that crust, it, we should be able to break into it and get the gold. Yeah, I think so, exactly. We knew that somehow we had to make it work. Dieter came over and we got thinking about fire and ice. Let's put something together here and see what happens. Wait, I gotta show the kid how, how to get the job done. We'll get her done. I know. They call him the snowman. His special effect is making snow and making fire. His special effect actually around here usually is, uh, is keeping dad out of the office. <laughs> making musical instruments well, here? This, no, this isn't a musical instrument. Well, yeah, it used to be. But now, this is the Venturi for the flamethrower. Fire's gonna come out here. Fuel's gonna come out here. It's gonna light it. The intense heat from the jet fuel is actually gonna vaporize the ice in the limestone and melt it enough that it's going to uh, be able Give to- Give you a chance to break through that edge there. At so least. this leftover yeah. trumpet is our answer. Yeah, this leftover trumpet's gonna save the company. Don't spill any on me. Well, I put the whole bottle in. Hey, Luke, can you turn on that propane for me? Just crank her open. I know I'm worth more to you dead than I am alive, but if I start on fire, I'd appreciate it if you turn yeah, I'm ready. Up. I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, that's working. We just work together as a team and we get things done. It's like synergetics. I mean, it's not his idea, it's not my idea. It's the two ideas coming together that makes it work. Right there, there's that spot right there that we're gonna punch into. Hey Luke, get the loader ready. All right. The hijinks and the goofing around and the putting one and one together and coming up with three, it worked today. I'm real happy it did. It was a win in the end. Yeah, look at it, loosening up already. The price is that hot. Now is that gonna be melted or is that melted? We should have brought Bratwurst on with us. Shit, I'm on fire now, damn it. Well, he's coming with the loader. You got it, Luke. That's the only way I know. Don't stop till everything's gone. Woohoo, yeah. Look at that! Oh, come on. Hey, come on. There's no way a uh, big corporation's ever gonna come in here and buy us out. I, I couldn't do that, you know, be the guy that, that sold his company for a bag of money. When I die, they are literally gonna cremate my body and spread it on the fields of Rock County because that's what I feel about this company. My grandpa started this thing, you know, 40 years ago. I sure hope I don't disappoint him. I know I'm gonna do everything I can, try to do him right and do him proud. 